Ladies and gentlemen, 110% guarantee achieving our target with a new CEO of Beautywise Philippines, the youngest CEO in the industry. Please welcome Miss. Yes, they are very much enjoyed. They are one of the Thank you, thank you. Okay, Miss Kia, before you're giving your sweet, sweet speech, Mamaya, you are now given torch, Maya. <laughs> torch? Wow, okay, torch, imagine na lang yun na. No, parang scepter pala. That scepter symbolizes the strength now. Okay, and this bouquet, symbolizes your being fresh and beautiful as the new CEO of Beauty Wise Companies. And I'll be proud of this case in general. Thank you. Can you see the center please? The center room. Excuse me. Okay, I'm judging. I'm judging. Okay, I'm judging. I'm judging. I'm judging. I'm judging. I'm judging. I'm judging. There we have, ladies and gentlemen. The 2022 to 2016 and the latest and the newest CEO of the University of Philippines, there we have Miss Ia Abdania Tapuco Gallo. This is the first revelation that you're going to make when you step foot down here and being a, for your first job as CEO will be the revelation of the new face of Beauty Wise. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now going to reveal the new face of Beauty Wise Philippines. She is one of the country's most empowered women after being awarded from a awarded body as one of the Philippines' six empowered women. And ladies and gentlemen, she is, luckily, we have here today as our new BeWise brand ambassador. Ladies and gentlemen, on the red carpet. The pride of the Philippines, worldwide. She is the BeWise brand ambassador, the reigning Miss Rural Philippines. Please welcome on the red carpet Miss Rural Philippines 2021, Tracy Maury Perez. Hello, Tracy. Hello, Sir Jerome. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. And thank you so much to my Beauty Wise family for finally welcoming me and welcoming me here in our official launching. We've been, we've been quiet about this for quite some time now. And finally, we're able to finally say that I'm officially a part of the Beauty Wise family. Thank you so much, Ia. Thank you so much, Ms. George, Ms. Jen, everyone from the Beauty Wise family for making this possible. Sir Jerome, Roy, and everybody, thank you so much for the trust. Wow. This is it. The second revelation is the face of Beauty Wise. And now, what can I do? We have here beautiful ladies in the Philippines who are tasked to reveal the new face of Beautifies Rejuvenating Set. Ladies and gentlemen, Sabay Parakparan Tay Lahat Habang Bubuksan Natin The Revelation 
of new PYs rejuvenating set in three, two, and suspend. Ready, guys. Three, two, yeah. one. Hello, good afternoon everyone. Congrats, yeah, of course, it's Tracy. For our first question, we have uh, Leo Bukas of Push Now Coach. Tapos, anong anong mayari? Good afternoon everyone. Si Tracy mo na gusto ng tanong. Oh, live na. Okay, thank you, sis. Tracy, how, so for how much you read as a swirl and the Thank you, For me, it was a very meaningful uh, If you guys don't know, I come from a very simple background. I grew up in the province. I lived in Mindanao actually for half of my life before moving to Cebu. And then now, finally trying my luck here in Manila for about two years now. But as for my reign, I'm, it was hard work, but also I was lucky to be a part of the Miss Red Philippines family for their trust, for allowing me to represent the country. It was such a dream come true. And during my time in the Miss World journey, I was not only able to showcase who I am as a person, but at the same time, I was also able to bring light to my to the ones closest to my heart, which are the single mothers, because as you guys may know, my mom was a single mom. I was raised by a single mom all my life. I've never met my dad, but that made me a stronger person. I like to think that it made me such a stronger woman. And now that, well, she was gone when I was just 17 years old. And from then on, it was such a hard journey. I never thought that I would be in a position right now where I can influence others, that I could actually help others dream bigger dreams. And hopefully with the Beauty Wise family, that I can help the distributors, the everyone that is part of the Beauty Wise family to make it even bigger. Because I also really believe in them. I believe in their principles and I'm just very lucky to be a part of this family now. So thank you guys for the trust. And again, the Miss World Philippines journey is just a start, but it's an ongoing journey and I will never stop being an inspiration, hopefully to younger generation and everyone as well. It's one of the possibilities. I won't deny that. Um, it, isa yung sa mga na-realize ko actually. Um, stepping foot in Miss World Philippines, it opened so many opportunities for me. And hindi ko babalewalain yung binigay na opportunity na hindi na dito ako. And if that is through the entertainment industry, then I'm very much willing to take that step. Hindi natin alam kung ano mangyayari, but again, anywhere I go, I always put my best foot forward and do my best every single time. And particularly, ano yung klase ng trabaho sa sa industry namin ang gusto mong gawin? Do you want to be an actress, a host? Well, if I were given a chance, I would really love to be a TV host, a new time show host, but at the same time, I've tried having acting classes already, and it's so different and it's so much fun. So, tignan natin, gusto ko din siyang matry kasi we, can, we should never stop learning and trying new things. Kahit ano mang edad natin, just go out there and live our lives. Thank you. Ingayin mo mga kumuha ng beauty queens ng doors. Ah, 
hindi ba ano, hindi ba expensive kumuha ng beauty queen bilang endorser?
So that is something what I think everyone should should look up. Not just what the links through. Uh, my focus is uh, platform is Inaalay ko ba yung mga prices ng ibang mga ano, skin product? Kasi yung isa, ang baba, 200 plus lang, pero mabenta kayo, di ba? Ano yung mga prices mo? Gano'ng kamura? Ang uh, prices namin has different types of rates po kasi yung benefits. So, RD and E-Dolphin. Depende na po yun sa position, but mostly, yun po yung isang price, and that's what we should follow. And may ibang may iba po, uh, so, gano ka beauty wise ikaw? Kasi ito yung CEO, yung magiging wise mo sa pag sa pagamit ng product. Ako personally, I'm 100% beauty wise. Wow. Uh, aminin ko sa inyo, I used to be too And alternately, with the rejuvenating, when I have breakouts, and it's something, actually before I tried different types of uh, skincare is super nag-explore ako, pero nothing fits me. Nothing is, walang bagay sa skin ko. And I don't know why hindi ko tinik yung kind mom, pero ever since tinry ko yung beauty was one year na ako, one year. Last year ako nag-start, and then one year I was flawless. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Okay, thank you, Ruben. Thank you, Paul. Thanks, Ian. Yeah. Next, we have a little nation. Hi, hello. I'm Alan Ignacio from, from the Nascar. Uh, to the youngest CEO, what is the wisest advice your mom gave you now that you are taking the reins of the CEO title? Thank you for the question. Yeah, <laughs> mom, is it not always my mom? My mom. It's going to have to be learn and learn and try your best. Because if, if you don't try your best, you will get the results. It's going to be nothing because you didn't try your best. So I was actually doing something I was really interested in. And then my mom was like, Do uh, you want to do And I was like, Oh, do you want to And my mom was like, I don't know, there's really something out there you should try your best. Like, you have to explore. That's also one thing we have to explore. Because my mom is actually a very adventurous. And I kept exploring until I found that I just want to the youngest CEO. It's something that I can be proud of. And it's something that I have been waiting for a long time ago. Okay, thank you. For Tracy, uh, what is the wisest thing about being beautiful that helped you towards your life journey? Wisest thing about being beautiful? Siguro, well again, beauty is subjective, but ako, I'd like to think of myself as beautiful and use it in a way now. Hopefully, ma encourage ko din and ma inspire ko din yung mga bata to look at me. I'm hindi ako maputi because usually when we talk about skincare, usually maputi, magiginis. I think I'm only one of the few endorsers na proudly mo rin na pupanaga. And I'd like to see these young children, especially sa mga taga probinsya, pumunta ka ng probinsya halos lahat mo rin. So gusto kong tumingin sila sa akin, makita nila ako sa TV, sa paskil ng beauty-wise all over the Philippines, na hala, morena siya, pero maganda siya. Gusto kong ma-realize nila na maganda din sila. That's wonderful. At what age should you realize? Wait, maganda pala ako talaga. <laughs> um, well, it took me a long time. Kasi ako personally, may hiling din ako sa mestiza. Kaya gandang-ganda ako kay Nia nung nakita ko siya the first time. Pero mutual pala yung feelings namin. So thank you. Ako may hiling may bias ako sa mestiza. So parang it took me a lot of validation from my friends, 
from the industry especially, na maganda pala ako. Actually guys, before I became Miss World Philippines, uh, it took me three tries. Hindi ako na pinalad sa first two tries ko. Even if I worked as hard. So parang it also added to my self-doubt na siguro hindi ako ganun kagaling, hindi ako ganun kaganda. Pero in my journey towards healing and also being more confident in my own skin, na-realize ko na yung, mga, yung pamilya ko, yung friends ko, naniniwala na maganda ako. Bakit hindi ko kayang makita sa sarili ko? So again, beauty is subjective guys. So dapat magsimula yun sa sarili nyo. Hopefully you find it in you to start telling yourself that hey, I'm beautiful and I'm capable of anything that I want to do with my life. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alvin. Next we have Mr. Danny. Yes. Anyway, I'm interested in the background of the Tato Bolgo. Like, it's a very unique family name, but what what was the family into before going into beauty product business? And what encouraged the family or the clan to get into this kind of business? Yung earlier businesses ni ba are related to beauty? Yung yun yun. Yung sang tapos sang region ba kayo? Tagal din na din ba kayo? Actually, ang family ko is tagal din na lang din talaga. And they just moved to pinangalan ng kung kami ng ano ng kapatid ko po. It all started with my mom. My mom was a nurse before, and eventually, my mom was really tired. And then my mom, like you know, always do. I mean, she explores. She explores a lot until she found she finds skincare, skincare as a business. So my mom explores a lot and find, found a lot of skincare and wanted to uh, wanted to go in the business now. And ever since na she was in there, she was really having a hard time. I know she was, and I was there by her side. I was a kid before I was by her side helping her. Na magpak ng sabon. I'm sorry, mommy. Pero magpak ng sabon and I did everything with her. I saw her downfall. I saw her happiness. I saw everything with my mom. And I was really proud. No, I knew that my mom was successful. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus, Danny, Janice, Navida. Oh, of course. And then we took him and then turned him. Okay. Hi, Mia. So, I'm just so curious how young are you? I'm 18 years old. 18 years old. So, you're now the CEO of a big company that is being distributed internationally. So, my first question is um, I'm just curious what made your parents decide? pass to you the big responsibility of being a young CEO, knowing that you're going to handle a very huge business. Actually, my parents are really good at decision making. And it's, I'm like what I said a while ago, it's really unexpected on how they choose me to be an CEO. So, bata pa lang po ako, ay lagi na po ako sumasama kay mom in all of her business meetings. Because at the same time, I was really curious, but she was always, and I was learning. Little by little, I was learning all about the business, the clients, the sales, everything about beauty wise, I learned that. And they uh, once told me that, what if they were you against you? And I was so, I was, it was unbelievable at first. But a, a few, in a few years, I, I improved myself. I wanted to show my parents now, I can do this. And they saw that, they saw that spark inside me, they saw that I was so inspired, and I was learning and learning, and then until they decided, and they knew I was ready. And I also knew that I was ready. But do you feel that you deserve to
actually more blessed than having this situation. Because this is my term of fun, decision making. I am not really into parties, not into television. I'm into this, and this is something that I am really blessed, grateful, and I'm really uh, flawless. I was really eager to handle this business, and it's something that I thank my parents, and I thank my siblings for supporting, and I thank everyone that is here. The distributors. So, as uh, as young as 18, do you have a boyfriend now? Since you're more focused on your uh, on the business side. Of course, what? <laughs> my dad. <laughs> Very challenging uh, problem in the company. Yung tatanong ko dapat. 
the question. I know. Uh, yep. Most uh, challenging thing that would, uh, I think that would challenge <laughs> is the decision making. In terms of decision making, I have to include everyone. I have to not include just myself. This is my business. This is my particular self. No, I have to include my family. How it affect the distributors, the market, everything. And it's something that it's really gonna be hard. Um, and I will overcome them by, of course, having second op opinions. It's my number one uh, thing. I always ask. Hindi naman sa I I just need to know others' opinions and I would apply that to my thinking. And then I think well, that's how I work on them. Oh, uh, taking others' opinions. That was thinking it really hard. Because yeah, I'm not the type of person that who risks that. Okay, I don't know. So what I do you You have to think about everyone and the over and the outcome. And then are you ready to face those consequences? If I'm not, then Find another one. Because see, there's always a lot of options there. You just have to find them. Thank you for Miss Tracy. What advice can you give to Ia knowing that she's very new in the business, although it's a different um, sector here from pageantry and then from business side. What would you advise especially to those um bashers? I would never be able to understand your situation right now. Pero looking at you and looking back when I was still 17, 18, hindi ko siguro kaya humarap sa ganito ang kadaming tao. Let alone run a whole family business and take care of everyone, take care of distributors and everyone in the country. So, iya ngayon pa lang, I'm very, very proud of you. I know this is just the start. You will commit mistakes. You will have a hard time, you'll have your fair share of struggles, pero I know it will help you grow. And ako naniniwala ako sa pamilya niyo. You are you have a very strong family foundation and magkamali ka man, andiyan sila. They will take care of you and use that, use that to fuel you na maging mas magaling ka pa sa ginagawa mo ngayon. You still have a lot to learn. And nakikita ko sa iyo that you're hard working, that you are curious, and sinabi mo nga na hindi ka mahilig po Marty, and you feel like you're not missing out on your life, that's good. But also, try to enjoy your life, try to explore other things without, without, ano, na hindi mo mapabayaan yung business nyo. Again, don't take this as a sole responsibility lang na ikaw lang yung makakasolve ng mga problem. Marami kang katulong. And hindi ka nag-iisa sa journey na to, you will become the best CEO out there. Kahit ano mang sabihin na mga bashers, bahala sila. Basta ikaw, mayaman ka, maganda ka pa. <laughs> Very well said, Miss Tracy. What a nice advice. Next, we have Romel Gonzalez of Beltapay. Yes, ang um, kanina na panggit nga, which is true, Tracy, how is Katriona? And Katriona before was Miss World Philippines 2016 and then she became Miss Universe 2018. Ikaw, bakit hindi ka nag-try na sumali ng Miss Universe? Um, I, I already tried Miss Universe Philippines po. Uh, I was uh, batch 2020. Um, again, it took me three tries before I finally was able to become Miss World Philippines and a representative of our country. So now that I'm already blessed with it, I already took grasp of it na ako na talaga to. Ako, it, it, binigay na sa akin ng Miss World Philippines. And that's more than enough for me. And I'm just gonna continue being this person. Hopefully I'm a leader and inspiration also. And just continue on with my new career path. Ayan, and then um, my next question is, well, uh, alam mo na natin lahat na isa sa mga issues ngayon is yung pinapayagan na ang mga transgender, transsexual, may anak, may asawa sa mga beauty pageants. What's your stand on this? Ako naman, I'm very open about that because organizations
organizations, different organizations have their different set of rules and I respect them for that. As long as they see that these specific candidates are still able to see, fulfill their responsibilities should they win the crown and still na hindi mapabayaan yung pamilya nila, yung anak nila, or even the transgender community. I, I think it's only fair that they're given the chance also to be a part of this one whole pageant community. There is really nothing wrong with it in my personal opinion as long as they have, like I always look at the person on what they are on the inside, like how they truly are as a person, as long as they're, again, their intentions are good and their vision is yeah. good, no matter your gender or your status in life, whether you're a parent, a single mom, or married, then if you still want to pursue pageantry and you're given the chance to do that, then just give your best and not leave anyone behind, especially your family. Thank you. Very well said. No wonder na 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 My next question is for Ilya. Kasi kahit ikaw na nga ang youngest CEO, nasa pagkakaalam ng iba sa amin ay si Andrea Brillantes, ang youngest CEO, ay eh, mas bata ka sa kanya. So, anong feeling na ikaw na ngayon ang tinuturing na youngest CEO sa Pilipinas? Like what I said a while ago po, it's really, it's really heavy. Uh, it's really hard kasi knowing na bata ka, some people will underestimate you. And that's something that I am trying to improve about myself. And being the youngest CEO has a reason big responsibility with uh, when my parents beside me, um, me learning, um, them teaching me, I know I can do this. I know I can handle this because I am eager to improve. I am eager to handle this. I want more. I want this and I am ready for it. And since ikaw ang CEO ng company niyo, may sale ka ba kung anong produkto ang i-cock-on-cock niyo, ilalabas na sa public? Since you're a teenager, ano yung needs ng skin ng mga babae? Of course, uh, having decision-making like that, uh, I have the control, but also, like I said a while ago, I have to take a second look at because I don't want to just take on my own perspective and not uh, to view others' perspectives. And, yeah, I have to control. And ano sa tingin mo, sa teenager, as a, as a woman, ano sa tingin mo yung produkto kailangan kailangan ngayon sa market na hindi pa masyado nabibigyan ng pansin or na i-introduce sa publiko? Uh, it's gonna have to be the tomato set we have or the sample product. I can assure you that our products are premium and it's something that no one will ever have because it's uh, specially made. Ingredients are especially made with my It's something premium, it's something we'll never have, and it's something that I recommend everyone since so 